Um, yesterday was a strange day. I was interviewing my replacement at work. We interviewed uh, three candidates, uh, one woman and two men. Um, they were all really good. I think we should have, I think, I think the organization should hire them all. I've done enough of these interviews to know that uh, you, it's like, it was a triple seven interview. We interviewed three people and if it was a slot machine, it would have been seven, seven, seven right across the board. One of them was exceptionally good. Um, I think that's the person we're going to hire. I'll meet today later with the person I interviewed with and make a decision. Um, wow. It was sobering also and a bit unsettling to be interviewing my own replacement with the very same questions that I was asked when I applied for the job. How strange or a reversal of things, you know, being in the other seat, you know, <laughs> literally. Um, and they were able, they knew that I was the one they were to replace. And so they were asking me pointed questions about my daily life and my, the job and et cetera. And the person that I was with was my boss. It would be their boss. And um, it was it was a perfect, perfect environment for a, a good, solid interview. The interviewees could get a good idea of what they might be getting into. And uh, we, got, I, I could help them. I could answer their questions. And I, I could judge more uh, quite effectively, I think, with their suitability for the role by role, right? But it was unsettling, too, for two reasons. One, the first obvious reason it was unsettling to be hiring my replacement, you know, more, and, more, and I, which is exactly what I want to do. I want to begin burning the bridge before I leave. I want to dismantle my way back. I don't want a way back. This is going to be a one-way street for me to leave America for the last time. Uh, and I don't want making it impossible to return, burning the ships, as they say, right? Isn't that what, uh, was that Alexander who did that? Burned the ships so the men had to return via Asia? Don't remember. So there's that. Also, it was unsettling. I didn't feel. I felt like they were more qualified, even though I'm older than them and I have more experience. I felt the three of them were more qualified than me for my own job. And it wasn't because of skill set necessarily. Although there's that, I think all three of them, particularly two of them, had much deeper technical skills than me. It was mainly, the one word that keeps coming to mind, it's a strange word, it was their youth, ambition, and, and uh, what was the word? No, I just lost it. But it, it came to my mind yesterday too. Vroom? I think that is it, vroom. They just had this young, ambitious energy. Like, you know, we're going to succeed. You know, we're going to, we can do this. We can take this job on. You know, Michael, if you see this, you probably have encountered this too. We, you and I both know what it's like to be in that position. In a way, you're still in that position where, you know, we have a family to support. We have uh, a mean, we have means to meet. We have, we have ends to meet by a means. And it's up to us to d deliver those means, whether we want to or not. And so we, mm, you know, the vroom, vroom. I don't have that anymore. It's it's more like a blah blah, <laughs> and I was the word is humbled. I know we use that word, we throw it around. People sometimes use hum, humbled when they mean they're honored. I was truly humbled to see what I am no more, and to realize that these people have it. Then I went. I had another meeting later in the afternoon, and I was kind of slapped awake, right, to this, to this. And I was with someone else who has got a new had a meeting later in the afternoon with someone, a coworker, who's in a similar situ situation in his career, young family man, um, position of great responsibility. And I saw the same ambition in him, the same room with him in him, and I was humbled again to see that. I don't have that. Grateful also. I had enough of that. I don't want to do that anymore. I finished off the day yesterday with a talk with Henry David Thoreau via chat GPT. I created a Henry, Henry David Thoreau GPT. Uh, someone had asked me a, an interesting question. That same person I was just mentioning. Because I told everybody that I'm... I mean, this is, oh, this is getting ridiculous. It's my own fault. I told everybody, like four months ago, I began telling people, I'm leaving on December 16th, 
2024. That's my last day of work. I wanted to plant this, a flag in the sand. And it all started because of a really bad day at work. Really, really bad. I was so, I was having, I was going through a difficult phase at work. This was about, yeah, it was about six months ago. And I was really, I was pissed off. And I said, what the hell with it? I'm going to plant a flag in the sand. I'm done this day. A friend of mine who might, or chance, see this, already retired person, once told me, a person of great responsibility, now retired, once told me, while they were still working, they were one bad day away from retirement. <laughs> I was always stuck in my head. That was my bad day about six months ago. And instead of retiring that day, I said, plant a flag. I'm going to plant a flag. And I, I had planned to do that because the organization that I work with, um, but maybe this is just the excuse that I use. Probably that's it. I was pissed off that day, and I started telling people that I'm going to retire. The excuse that I use was that, that oh, I'm fessing up for the first time, first time I'm realizing this. Truth serum. The excuse that I used was that, uh, that I, my projects are big, and I was just finishing a big project. That was in August to September period. I was just finishing a big 20-month you know, project. And rather than have the organization give me another 20-month project, which then I would leave, you know, partway through, 12 months in, and then they, then they have to plan a new project manager that has to come up to speed. That's not good. So it's better to let them know ahead of time so that they can then give me a, give me a project that will finish before I leave, which is exactly what they did, and then give the big project that they had waiting in the wings, which they did have waiting for me, give that to somebody else. In this case, they're going to give it to the new hire, right? So that more altruistic reason for that was a, that worked out because they wanted they said, "Wow, you're going to leave in December in 2024. We'll give you a project, Kurt, that you can finish before then. No disruption or little disruption, and then somebody else would take the big one." You see, but the real reason was I was pissed off. I just I just I just cloaked it with this other thing, which was which is true too. Anyway, um. This person I was talking to I, yesterday happens to, well, I won't give that detail. They said, why don't you wait until March? Because you'll, you'll get a benefit. You'll get more money. True. <clears throat> My pension would be better if I waited until <clears throat> March 2025. But that's a perpetual cycle, right? I mean, you can just keep pushing that. You can play that game <laughs> you know, <laughs> until you're dead. And lots of people do. There's lots of people at work that have been there for 30, 40 years playing that game, and she listens. So I had a talk with Thoreau. I was commuting back, and I had, had GPT on listening to the audio. He was talking to me through the car, and um, and I gave him that situation. I said, would you, Thoreau, what would you do in this situation? Would you trade time for money? I said, you know, I, I would rather leave in December with less of a pension and more time, on, not more time to live. And um, he, he, it's interesting how ChatGPT is, will, will Make it give advice. Throw, excuse me, chat to be throw on his own behalf. Said, yeah, he would leave. He would leave early, and then he recommended I do the same. <laughs> I wonder if OpenAI knows that it's GPT that it says AI is out there giving people advice, like <laughs> big life changing advice. I was heartened by Thoreau's guidance and support and resolved in this, but yet. This means I need to make it happen, and I can. I will. I will. Okay, let's wrap that up. Room.